Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about my very needy dog who does not like it when I film. Maybe she's right, she's right there. She's gonna bark at me. I'm trying to not give her treats because she's been not feeling super well. I'm trying to eliminate any food intolerances, but she's just a pain in the butthole. Anyway, I'm here to talk about a pen and not about my dog. Um, I'm talking about the Leonardo Memento Zero today. Um, and that's just the box, but this is the pen. And it is a lovely pen. This is a Finnish Blue Hawaii with the rose gold trim. And I love it. It looks so gorgeous. Um, I got this pen after actually selling a couple of pens. Um, I've been trying to declutter my collection a little bit. And also I don't want to spend too much money on pens without like selling some right now um i'm eventually going to be moving to the states and i can't bring everything um and uh, a move is coming up in may-ish that's not to the states but i'm gonna go back to my parents so i can't bring everything so i'm just selling and buying some new stuff um but like i sold five bought one uh it's still profit i guess I was actually saving up for a Visconti Homo Sapiens Bronze Age. I got I got to the amount that I needed and then I waffled and didn't dare get it because it was so much money. I was like, am I gonna love this pen? I haven't I haven't actually ever seen it in uh, real life, the uh, Bronze Age. Um, and I don't really have the opportunity to go test it anywhere right now. All the pen stores are really far away from me and I would have to drive there um, to just try a pen and maybe not even buy it. And also the stores are only uh, open for appointments. So I didn't do that. So I, didn't, I, I waffled and then I got this pretty, pretty Leonardo, which is like a third of the price. It's still gorgeous. Anyway, I've been rambling quite enough. Let us go switch a shot and actually look close up at this pen because it is gorgeous. All right. Okay, for the sake of the video, I put the pen back into the box and I just want to say that I don't like this packaging. Uh, my dog doesn't like this packaging as you can hear by her uh, protest bark. Um, I, the outside sleeve is nice, it looks pretty enough um, and it's a nice color. However, when you take this off, there's a box. And it says Leonardo Officiana Italiana or something. I'm, I'm not good at Italian. Then turns out this is another sleeve. Um, and then you come to the box. So it's like a double sleeved pen. Why? Why so much packing material? I know it's a small thing, but I don't like it. Anyway. Then we have the box. It is a nice pen coffin. It is very big. Um, I'm, again, not a big fan, but it's fine. It's like a clamshell box. It works. Uh, it comes with a, a booklet about the collection and a card that says uh, Italian original quality made in Italy. It's great. And then the pen is in here, like this clampy bit. Take it out. It was in a plastic thingy. Um, yeah, that is that is the packaging. Um, I think it's a little overboard, but that's just me. Um, let's put it back in the sleeves, put it away, and actually look at the pen. Yeah, packaging. There's a lot of unpacking, and if you like that, then that's okay. There's the pen. Let me grab some paper to use as a background. All right. There is the pen on some blank-ish paper. Of course there's see-through because this is Tomoe River, 52 grams. But I'm gonna zoom in and you won't even look at it anymore because you'll look at the Leonardo Momento Zero Blue Hawaii. I, I had a lot of trouble like choosing the finish that I wanted because there are so many lovely finishes. I'm turning up the light a little bit. And then I'll show you it without the artificial lighting so you can actually see what it looks like in artificial and non-artificial light. But this, um, there's a blue Sorrento that's also blue, but a different kind of blue, like the cracked ice blue. But this seemed more interesting to me. 
And I wanted to say unique there, but a lot of people have this pen, so it's not really unique. But the finish is really, really nice. Like, it's pretty as heck. This is the new version. It's, uh, they, they have, every year they have like a new version. On this one, um, there's a smaller clip, but I really like the clip with the wheel. I don't think it's super functional, but like, it's cute. Rose gold trim, then right there is the imprint that says Leonardo Officina Italiana and then a number and let me read the number the number is 6823 don't really know why these are numbered they're not really special edition or anything but yeah that is the pen with artificial lighting the grip is also in the same material Luckily, that makes me really happy. It's super pretty. Um, there is some translucency to this material, especially um, you can see some of the um, um, materials in the grip. It's not very clear on video, but you can see some of the parts. And then the cap definitely has some translucency. I don't know if you can see it if I stick my pinky in there. Maybe if I just put the nib back in there. You can see it moving around, right? Anyway, it is very lovely. One downside for me is that this finish does not line up with this. Like, that's something that I would have preferred to see, but that's just not the case. All right, let's switch to um, natural lighting, so non-artificial lighting. Uh, give me a sec, and I'll be right back. A very different uh, look at this pen but it's still beautiful even though the lighting is terabad uh, it is very Dutch weather it's gray and it's been hailing and it's just not great but this is what you'll see most of the time especially when you live here so the artificial light always like makes it look lighter and brighter but this is the actual good look at this pen and it's still super gorgeous in my opinion. It's also a little more clear that this is a rose gold trim, I believe. But yeah, looks really good to me. Um, information about this pen. It is a cartridge pen, but it's a like a, it's like a captured converter. It's a converter pen. I don't know if you can actually take out this converter. I have not tried. So you can operate this converter, if you take off the blind cap, um, I did not do that. I just filled it by unscrewing the section, and there you have it. Um, I also screwed up the converter again because I wanted to push the ink a little bit more through. Uh, inked it with cross violet, my favorite. I love the details of this captured converter situation. Um, there's a logo on it. It feels really solid. It looks really good. Um, but I haven't removed it and I don't want to pull too hard because I'm, I'm not sure you're supposed to remove it. Um, that might be really dumb of me, but I just don't know. Anyway, there, there is a piston version of the Memento Zero. Uh, you show up more money for it and it's a bigger pen, I believe. It's called the Grande. Um, so if you want a piston filler, look at that, but you gotta pay more money for it. So this was 180, um, and it has a steel nib. There are gold nibs for it, um, but that's just, you're gonna pay premium. But if you really want a gold nib, you can get a gold nib. So yeah, I think we should move on to the writing sample with some artificial lighting again. Um, yeah, let me do that for you guys. All right, here we are to do a writing sample with the Leonardo Momento Zero. And it is generally a joy to write with. Oh, that's out of shot. Uh, it is generally fine. Fine, uh, this medium nib. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna make myself laugh. Um, however, I have been having some uh, skipping issues when I write with it uh, for a long time. So when I write with it, let's say I've written a page and a half, 
it might start skipping on the downstroke which uh, to me seems like it might have a little bit of baby's bottom. If the feed is saturated enough, it doesn't doesn't actually bother me as much, but um, yeah, it, it's not just that it runs dry because it's only on the downstroke when it does it. Um, so that to me says baby butt, baby a butt. But it's been a real joy to write with nonetheless because of its beauty and I love the way it feels. It's not super heavy um, and it's long enough. I think it's long enough for most people. I've never tried posting this. I would not suggest posting this, mostly because I would worry about the finish. It is possible. It doesn't even come uh, become that top heavy. So if you like posting, you can do it. I would worry about the finish. Um, and it's quite, quite long anyway. Um, the ink I'm using is Cross, I cannot write guys, Cross Violet. It is my favorite kind of purple. It's one of my, my all time loves. Um, I finished like half a bottle of this. It is so good. Um, yeah, this is, this is a lovely journal pen. Um, and if you're looking for a pen with a really nice finish that feels good in the hand, is not slippery, is a nice um, width um, on the grip, I think this is a really great pen. And um, even though it's a steel nib, I still think you get a lot of bang for your buck. Bought this one at Fonto Plumo. They offer nib tuning surfaces, I believe. So if you want to have your nib worked on a little bit, before actually getting this, you could. I did not do that. I, I maybe I should have, um, but I didn't. But I can I can totally uh, enjoy this nib as is. Um, it's just lovely. Like you want to keep scribbling with it. It's it's so fun to look at and to like the way it feels is really nice. Um, just makes me really happy. Happy. So, uh, I went from five unused pens to this one that is being used, which is really nice. And I have the Leonardo Bug, I think. I've been looking at the Grande and then in the Sand version. It is lovely and I really would like it, but I am kind of again on pen buying hiatus. I'm actually waiting for a new Twisby to come out. Um, it might have come out already um, when this video comes online, um, but yeah, gotta wait. Gotta not buy pens for a little bit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative and not too rambly. I know it was a little bit rambly, but uh, yeah, I like talking, apparently. Uh, if you have any questions about this pen or Leonardo or whatever, just ask me in the comments and I'll try to respond to them. Um, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.